Hi everybody, Radical Gardener. Well, I'm myself again and uh, bouncing back from the crazy, crazy morning. My phone was ringing at four in the morning and uh, emails, all kinds of stuff piling in going, where's your channel? So, wow, that felt good though. It felt good that people were really upset, really looking for it, that it meant something to you. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's it's just numbers, uh, you know, wh whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, almost 3,000 people. No, I have like 28 or something. I have the new link down below where you can get a hold of me. Um, and I, you know, you know what my new channel is. I put it on my name, Kate Hart. I actually have two accounts with uh, with YouTube Kate Hart one is for my music and then you know and now this channel so yeah here I am I'm back I'm over it moving on uh, so anyways I wanted to talk today first well let me tell you the weather is incredible it's incredible no cancel and put down there there we go uh, it just it feels like spring I'm trying not to get my hopes up. You know how that happens in March and all of a sudden, bam, here comes winter again. But it's so nice. You can hear the birds singing. The bird feeders are all full. The birds look happy. Um, you know, the garden, you know, as soon as the sun starts shining, the garden looks pretty good again, right? So yeah. All right. So what do I want to talk about today? Well, um, I would like to uh, share with you uh, the Wood Prairie Family Farm uh, sent a great uh, newsletter out. They're really wonderful to uh, be in touch with. They have, uh, they always send out a newsletter. I believe it's monthly, maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe it's bi-monthly, but uh, they just have all kinds of articles about snow. There's some great pictures here <laughs> because they're in Northern Maine and just, you know, how just chimney tops <laughs> Are sticking out of the snow so um, wonderful newsletter but they're talking about um, about growing potatoes and this is a really interesting uh, article here it says rocks are so fundamental to the experience of growing potatoes in Maine that we really couldn't fault anyone for calling us a bit obsessive on the subject rocks are certainly a subject we know quite well years ago one fellow explained to us that over the eons, 20 glaciers have made their way through northern Maine. Isn't that crazy? Each one bringing rocks foreign and divergent from our shale bedrock. We and those who have come before us have enjoyed long careers of moving rocks out of the way so we can grow potatoes. A dozen years ago, we cleared off the regrowth of trees from one four acre field which had been abandoned many decades ago. Counting the tree rings on the stumps left behind from felling the biggest trees revealed those trees had gotten their start a mere 20 years after the field had been first cleared by the pioneers a century ago. For a short while, it baffled us why after so much effort at clearing, they had surrendered the field back to the woods. Before long, we had cleared all the trees and then all the stumps. Working the rich soil with farm equipment revealed quickly what had been the not-so-mysterious reason for abandonment. The amount of rocks in this field left behind by glaciers was enough to make one faint. It clearly was enough to have caused the pioneers to lose heart and give up on this field. One, uh, with an almost religious zeal, we tackled our rocks. We used tractors, mechanical rock hogs, and rock pickers and a dump truck to haul the rocks out of that field. By the time we finished rock picking, we had taken over 700 yards of rocks from off those four acres. One neighbor who would drive our 10-yard uh, dump truck alongside our side boom rock picker, <laughs> side boom rock picker, that is a great name for a band, I'm just saying. Um, uh, let's see where I proudly proclaimed he had now worked on the two rockiest farms in town. When pressed for the winter, he said our farm beat out that of an old timer's farm near U.S. Route 1 and north of Bridgewater Corner. It's always nice to be in first place regardless of the contest. So uh, not far from Bridgewater Corner, but on the other side of the line was the Emery Farm in the potato farming hamlet of Centerville in New Brunswick, Canada. Terry Emery was our friend for decades and was the organic farmer most near to Wood Prairie fa Family Farm. Thinking back, it was about this time in the winter, five or six, or six years ago, that Terry had passed on. 
anyway, it goes on to talk about, you know, um, just the planting of, the, they actually go uh, into the, the province of Saskatchewan. I mean, they're right up by Canada, right? So, um, yeah, wow, wow. That, you know, that, that's harsh there, my northern Maine. Woo, you've got to be committed to live there, but gorgeous. And I played festivals uh, throughout Maine and the East Coast uh, in the, uh, about 2006, 2007. It was so gorgeous. Um, and then a big festival in New Brunswick. Uh, in Canada, where uh, actually we we did a sold out show. It was really cool. I think like twenty thousand people. It was a huge, huge festival, uh, and I think uh, Dr. John, all kinds of people were up there. Just beautiful. But anyways, I thought it would be great to to uh, share this with you. The story goes on and on. They're just they, I love their their newsletter. It's it really feels small town. It feels homey. It you know it's like you step back you know in the the way back machine. Uh, I I really like them and I love love their potatoes. So um, yeah, their pictures, you guys. There is so much snow. I mean, crazy. So yeah, check it out. Check it out. Um, okay, so some really good news. Um, I'm going to be on the Jeff Rents show uh, on Thursday night with uh, with Bob Greska of c-60.com fame and, uh, you know, talking about what C60 has done for me. So that's a huge show and it's really nice that I'm going to be able to, you know, share my experience and hopefully, you know, it will, it will help others to find their way uh, back into great health. Uh, let's see. Um, I found out more why my channel was taken down. Um, it, 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 it's hovering somewhere between the C60 and, um, and, uh, my coverage of, you know, the GSM grand, grand solar minimum. Uh, you know, the narrative's very, very narrow now that, uh, where we can fully express ourselves, but, um, whatever, uh, you know, I'm going to spend the next two months really, looking at how I want to move forward. Uh, I'm going to go back to writing. I'm going to, you know, uh, rev uh, get back to my blog. I'm a writer. Uh, I've always been a writer. And so I need to get back to that. So this was really a kick in the butt to do that. Uh, and also, you know, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm going to start gardening here soon. I've got so much to share with you. So I want to be able to blog that, I, you know, share it here on YouTube. I am going to really look at Vimeo and bit, bit shoot. But you guys, all that stuff takes so much time. And, you know, at some point, I may just say it's not worth it. I love being connected uh, to people, like-minded people, but I also have got stuff to do. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm going to hang in there and do what I can. I may mean, spend all day, uh, you know, putting up a new YouTube channel and, you know, uh, you know, making sure that now I'm loading everything up into the cloud so my videos aren't, aren't gone. But, I mean, over 200 videos are just gone, 250 videos, something like that, are gone. Uh, Bob saved the ones from C60. He still have those. I'm sure the one I did with Diamond, he's got that. There's a couple of them that are saved. Um, I'll try and get those and get them loaded up again. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is, right? But uh, for those of you who've uh, found me already, uh, welcome back. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on, and thanks for the support, okay? So, Kate Hart, a.k.a. Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow, okay? Next time, be a longer video and more content, but I wanted to get something out today. Okay, thanks. All right, bye.